So I have five quick questions for you. What advice do you have for those at, at the beginning of their writing career? For me, for the writer, the great thing for the writer is that you write it and you put it in a drawer and nobody ever reads it. So get it off your desk, get it out, make it public, get it read, get feedback on it, and expose it and expose yourself as a writer. That's job one. Okay. And what project are you most proud of and why? Well, 192, I'm extremely proud of. Um, I'm also extremely proud of a movie I did about Johnny McDonald called The Birth of the Country. Uh, because writing, you know, interesting political drama set in 1850s Canada is a serious challenge. Mm -hmm. So when you can get people turning the pages in that context, I'm pretty proud. Okay. Um, if you have writer's block, what do you do to overcome it? Suffer. <laughs> Long and agony. Self-loathing is a big part of this job. And I'm very ambitious as a writer. Mm -hmm. And usually when I'm hitting writer's block, what really that means is I think what I'm writing is not of quality. Mm -hmm. uh, I can use uh, more rougher language than that to really come down to what it feels like. So that's, that's the... What I do to overcome it is get to a place where I can't live with myself unless I do better. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, it's not pretty easy. That's the truth. Appreciate it. Um, what can the film and TV industry do to change or get better? You know, be bold and, and be brave and be confident. And I think in a lot of ways, you know, there's never been a better time to write TV. There's never been a better time to make TV, certainly in this country, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. um, so I would like to continue that build on that. Final question. Um, we all have mentors. Uh, these are the people who give us hope and inspiration and, and the drive to keep going. Who are the people who have been your mentors and why? I've had a number of really um, influential mentors. Uh, starting my father and stepmother were film directors, so I grew up in the business. My father was certainly a uh, driving force in that he's a director and I felt I needed to prove that I was good and I probably went into writing um, and theater where I started to get away from him. Mm -hmm. um, so as not to just have it hanging there as a legacy and to figure out if I was any good or not, which I, I, by the time I had done a couple of films, I felt I was. Um, but he was very important. Uh, the producer, Bernie Zuckerman, who really gave me um, my first break, uh, has remained a very close friend and was a real uh, mensch to me. Um, and a real, uh, gave me an opportunity to, he, he you know, gave me miniseries size stuff to cut my teeth on as a new writer. That takes a lot of confidence and so for both of them me. Uh, Laurie Finstad, Laurie Finstad Knutsnik, um, who was the creator of Durham County and who was most recently the creator of Strange Empire. Mm -hmm. uh, when she took me on to work with um, uh, Durham County, I, I really felt um, she challenged me as a writer and I think she's a spectacular writer and uh, the trust she put in me really, I think, kick-started my Hard to say a mentor because we're peers. Yeah. But um, wow, she's something. Thank you so very much. Thank you.